I want to welcome you back to another gaming experience. Sherlock Holmes, Chapter 1, Part 7. Should be a good time. So last time I talked to the dude with my get up on. He gave me a job, right? Yeah, I think so. Flower with perfume. I don't know what to do. Okay. Um. Transparent substance inside and great elephant. It's most terrible. Every clear and uh, contain the sweat of an elephant could have been worse. Could serve as an excellent source of pheromones. Stop loitering and get inside. It's time to retrieve the elephant. <sighs> what up is the elephant? This fabric will work. Hunting a Goliath. Wait, what? <laughs> hey, that's lucky. So now what? I got everything from here. Oh, that's perfect. Okay. Look at the map. I got everything from there. Where do I gotta go? Here? The boat workshop. I haven't found all the clues there. Doom, 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 doom.
clear this little question mark out, and then I should be good. Excuse me. Rich, rich, rich people. Boy, I look like a worker real bad right now. It might fall an elephant. Yes. What well, what did I pick up? You still in here, big dog? Those huffing and puffing. I don't know if you got something for me. Acquired the foghorn. It sounds just like a mating mammal. <laughs> oh, shoot. pheromones which can be used to attract the elephant all right pin this back mrs. Nini seemed to know us sewing inside out uh, I bet she missed us I hope miss Nini won't misunderstand me miss Nini works at the intersection of Knights Road and Trinity Way
your mic on too. Probably go to the police station. There we go. Probably to switch my clothes out. Now how do I do that? some new clothes. I'm gonna go buy some clothes. Let's see what they got over here. Hopefully they got something awesome. Be like yes. Yes. Refresh your interior. Pick. Sorry, I've nothing to offer you at present. You're right. I bought out Stay you. Up. Take a look. Try it on. It the finest clothes for the finest citizens. Okay. How much I got? is casual. Emerald Otterman suit. The vest is yet to come. Man, what should I pick to wear? If you wear this, cops rock with you. No, that's not the cops. The metal one's the cops. I don't want a suit. An ugly beige suit. Continuous wear. If 
I look dirty. <laughs> um. can rent it uh, 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 got 49 do I buy it I'm just gonna buy the suit and it's top hat Choice. Let's go finish this. Take a look. Try it on. I feel like Sherlock again. <laughs> Steal. Mm, yeah, my money different. was far. I was like, what happened? There she is. Ma'am. Hey, madam, I've come to you with a awesome. special requirement. The tailors on the street can't help me, I'm afraid. Could you make a doll for me? Oh, Senior Holmes. You taught the police how to do their job, and they found the thief. Of course I will help you. But what sort of doll? A child's doll, such as my great niece might play with? Um, a little larger than your typical doll. Signore, I don't understand. Boy, girl, animal, and what color? Animal, um, a passionate, perhaps amorous animal. Ah, oh, Signore, you talk in readers. I am an old lady who's seen it all. Tell me what you need. I need a life-size elephant. I think Mrs. Nini outdid herself with this one. Is that a tail? That's a trunk, John, but I must agree with you that it's a masterpiece. Well, let's not waste any time. That's what I do now. Yard with the magnificent elephant doll now in possession. I should use the coal, coal gas shed in the Gilding's yard. Gilding, is that over here? Yes. Okay.
game is on. So what's the plan? I hope it all doesn't go horribly wrong. We know that the elephant yeah, is kind of nervous. Here. We can arrange that. A doll with the appropriate scent might do miracles. So you're a marriage broker. Well, I suppose that makes me a groomsman. Oh, she is a bit breezy, I must say. Well, Goliath is eager for a single female elephant in his area. It should be just enough for his taste. You'll need to trust me. Uh-oh. We pick up the controller. <laughs> Are we ready? I can't stand the tension. We're ready. Let's call the elephant. Uh tempting fallacious submissive teasing impatient. Attempting. How could anyone resist? Short chicken. I knew a lady once who said just that. Delicious. If I told you that you had a nice trunk, would you hold it against me? <laughs> Too bad I'm not an elephant. Here I am. What were you, your other two wishes? Okay, I'm getting Take there. Take your time, Sherry. And this submissive. Please, show me a night I will never forget. Yeah. That deserves a slap. And then a kiss. And here's our lovesick friend. of this why are you bringing it here I won't allow you to leave I assure you that it is only a temporary measure it won't be long until the elephant is gone I promise you your pops love that elephant though Injured itself while running through the forest. Peaceful and compliant, almost a gentleman. 
The left tusk is larger and more worn. You're a left tusk elephant. Hey, a left. Oh. The red thing. There's something in the needle. A feathered fletching. This might be promising. I did. Do some chemical analysis. Arthur or Paul may have shot Goliath. Both Arthur and Paul perks had the means to shoot the elephant with a dart. I don't think bro did it because he stayed where he at. shot a poison dart at Goliath to provoke it into attacking Theodore. It's either the dude that's with the girl or it was a business partner.
love elephants. I think they're very spiritual animals. But they do get aggressive in nature as they get older, especially males. Uh, the high in testosterone. A lot of energy makes them more aggressive. And if he's in heat and he's looking for a mate, could have got a got a got a little you know antsy. They tried to go looking for him and ran through him out of anger. But why the poison dart? They both have some. They both had one missing. Shot a poison dart. An unknown third party tried to protect the real Gildan by shooting a poison dart. Because he wasn't a good man. From what people say, they didn't really like him like that. He had enemies. Goliath have killed in a fit of rage. Goliath killed Theodore Gilden. After a quick one sided conference, the fled leaving Gilden to succumb to his injuries. Goliath killed his own master. Theodore Gilden nurtured the animal, cared for him. He makes an extremely dangerous to other. A certain form. He shouldn't own an elephant. Save Goliath. Goliath's a wild animal. Yeah. His captors are the ones responsible for his bed. The elephant requires a new home owner at home. I should discuss with options to save and relocate the elephant. Let's do this one. That's not a good image.
I'm gonna go with this. Where's she at? Be like, I don't rock with that. That doesn't make much sense, Mr. Holmes. <laughs> like, shut up. You were right about Goliath. Everyone confirmed your opinion. They all agree that the beast is vicious. The animal wielded two tons of rage, and Mr. Gildon regrettably didn't stand a chance. The mating season only served to amplify its temper. Oh, spare me. That's a little too much detail, thank you. What is the point of this conclusion? How do you plan to use your findings? Miss Gildon, I know how much you dislike the elephant. Rather more than dislike. I wish I could have done more to that wretch than just speak of it. But it's innocent. Goliath did not intend to kill your father. It was provoked, scared, and in mating season. Your father took Goliath's normal state for granted, and in doing so made a mistake that caused the elephant to be aggressive. Stop it. I already know the answer. I don't need your moral perspective on this situation. I don't know why you wasted your time. I actually did more than you. Which involved what, Miss Gildon? A man with a big wallet made an offer to take the elephant away. I accepted it. I was so naive thinking that it was me who was so helpless. But you are useless too. I am glad that the elephant is no longer of your concern, but I need to make sure. I don't care and I don't want to listen. Hater. She wanted me to say somebody killed her? Well, that's not my thing. Yeah, you know, animal advocate. I thought you wouldn't turn. Why is that? Well, I suppose it's the English way to leave without saying goodbye, but I never planned to abandon you. Because you brought the filthy beast here. Because you did nothing to ensure its proper punishment. I had to do everything, not you. I was piecing together your father's murder. There was nothing to piece together. I told you, it was Goliath. I never asked you to talk with anyone. I asked you to find the stupid animal. Even if my efforts are invisible, that does not mean that I did nothing. I don't have the strength to argue. These are my father's belongings. They're about your mother. Take them all and leave me be. I won't waste your time any longer, Miss Gildon. Thank you for your help. She crazy, dog. I need to get my stuff and leave. Keys complete. My mother always wore this around her neck until one day it disappeared. I was wondering where it went. She said it was a birthday present from a good friend. My dear Theodore, you know I value our friendship more than most other bonds. We share the same restless soul and your acceptance as important trying times has been a blessing. 
I'm easily grateful for the turn of fate that saw a seeker, and I joined the same expedition as you. It changed my life for the better. Nonetheless, I am not blind nor a hypocrite. I know that your feelings towards me have deepened. Forgive me, Theodore, but I do not feel as you do. I must spare you the pain of one-sided love before it is too late. Please, see and close the necklace. You so thoughtfully gifted in remembrance of our adventure together. I cannot in good conscience continue to wear it. I know this letter will cause you such hurt for that I can but apologize deeply. Yet my heart is with Seeger, who is still unaware of your desires. If this is the end of our friendship, I will understand. I truly hope we can continue to share the conversations, collaborations, and kindness that have brought me such joy all these years. Yours respectfully, Violet. I just had another glimpse of a memory, John. It's fuzzy, but I'm sure it happens somewhere in the manor. Finally moving forward. Shall we go? People stand to the left. Stand to the right. I'm in the middle looking at me. I'm not gonna move on to that life fight, Nate. You can do the left. You don't go to the right. You can do the left. Okay, I got my game froze. Oh, the NBA basketball game comes on tonight. I got the Celtics winning. Dang, easy. It's a mirror. You know, I envy you, Sherry. Why is you that? You can talk to other people and they won't ignore you. And I envy you. You can ignore any person you're bored with. Heck you don't yeah. sound so much. Most men are dull, unlike yourself. Well, I'm flattered. Oh, we got water. Oh, that's scary. I had a surprise for my mother. A heavy tool. You had a shovel with you, John. <laughs> I do have a shovel. I was holding an ancient Greek vase, or rather, quite a big piece of it. I remember now, we dug up the vase from Greek ruins here on Cordona, and were eager to show my mother right away. Don't. There we go, yeah. For some reason, the door was closed. We knocked. But nobody answered. We thought that she was busy. So we left the vase and ran downstairs.
I decided to gather some archaeological tools in order to take a closer look at the vase. But then we heard something, didn't we? Yes. It came from upstairs. The vase was broken, shards scattered all over the floor. And your mother was standing at the door. Indeed, John. I doubt it was her. Let me concentrate. Otto Richter was standing there, furious at us. Dr. Richter told us never to disturb my mother when the door is closed. He said she had broken the vase. But we didn't believe him. I bet he smashed it. Her things are still here. Presumably Mycroft never felt the need to sort through it all. Or couldn't bring himself to. No. He would have put it behind him and moved on. My brother is not one for sentimentality. Stuff to look at. Let's look at this, this room always reeked with an acrid medicinal stench. And here is the reason. This room always reeked with an acrid medicinal stench. And here is the reason. This picture was drawn by my mother. I recognize her hand. There's a date on it, 8th of December, 1868. Man, that's This seems a bit odd. I can recognize my mother's style, but it's far too sloppy. Dated 12th of February, 1869. Oh, Lord. It's difficult to tell what this is meant to represent. There's no date at all. Observation of Ms. Violet Holmes. Initial concentration was that the patient suffered sleep problems, periods of anxiety, and slight confusion of memory. Prescribed a strong sedative to be administered daily and will continue to monitor symptoms. The patient has helped minimize anxiety attacks, but Ms. Holmes now experiences catanoia, apathy, and prolonged depressive states. Moreover, the patient's confusion has worsened, and she has begun writing letters to her deceased husband as he was alive. Uh, six further drugs to balance her mental state weekly. The prior drug has delivered meddling, re meddling results with confusion worsening and into near constant delusion. Major girls are at, at, uh, aggravated when these beliefs are contradicted, prompting aggressive behavior. I have now witnessed several episodes of violence against her own family towards herself. Consequently, Order the bar that bars be installed on the windows and that Miss Holmes be strapped to her bed at night. The doses of all medicines have been raised. I have to provide the patient additional as well as mild hallucinogens. Dang. No labels. I doubt it ever had one. There appear to be residues of the bottle's contents at the bottom. D 
Do you think the doctor could have used these tools here? I hope not. This is getting spicy, dog. My mother loved flowers. They made her smile. I remember we would bring a new bouquet every week to make her a bit happier. That's why we collected all the violet flowers we could find on the island. Oh, I would love to take a bath right now. Not this one. Surface corrosion suggests it was prone to extreme temperature fluctuations. For medical purposes, I suppose. Seems this was the most frequently used medication. Potassium bromate. One dram dissolved in a glass of water administered daily. Not to exceed one dose in 24 hours, not to be given to children. My dear Mr. Seeger, at last, I still yet to receive any correspondence from you. One pursues my previous letters are chasing you around the con continent as you travel. I hope you're good in health and all already on your way home. Forgive me for my impatience, but life without you kind of kind voice and bright eyes is scarcely worth living. The boys need their father around too. I can tell they, have, they miss you. Though, as you well know, my craft is not one to wear his heart on his sleeves. In case my prior letters have been lost, know that we have relocated to Cordona. Please come back. Forever yours, Violet. Dang. This is the last thing, dog. Look what I found. The White King is under attack. Sherry, can you save him and checkmate the opponent in one move? Straps on the bed. It just doesn't look right. Bars covering the windows from the inside. Mr. Seeger, Moreland Holmes, the renowned archaeologist, is dead a mere 41 years of age. He was seized by a cardiac event. Uh, despite a physician's best effort, he remained ins insensible and died at 20 minutes past 6 o'clock. Sudden end came as a severe shock to his large circle of acquaintances. Mr. Holmes has survived his wife, two sons, my craft 16, and Sherlock 6. Funeral services will be held Wednesday at the Highgate Cemetery. It's a strange feeling to read about my father's death in the newspaper. I can't recall anything except the deep feeling of loss. We were too young. It happened before we even met. It's so sad. I'm sorry. Examination notes of Dr. Otto. Sure. Over the last few months, I have asked Mr. Holmes to sketch some landscapes. The first few were clear and accurate, but subsequent drawings quickly drifted away from reality. It appears her disease progressed rapidly and perhaps even affects her vision. Me to consider trepanation. This room always reeked with an acrid medicinal stench. And here is the reason. Yeah, 
is everything. It reminds me of my mother. It reminds me of my mother. Now it's identified substance as a hallucinogen deprived from mushrooms. Yes. Sure, you saved the king, but that's no checkmate, Sherry. You're losing your touch. What did I do? Oh! I didn't know I had to pick one. Looks like it was damaged by a blunt object. Oh, it brings back some memories. And then I started remembering a chaotic morning together. The broken plate shards were all over the floor. Mycroft had to... Mother was troubled that morning. Something we did upset her. Dr. Richter tried to calm her down. We had to put the tray with Mother's morning tea down, but why? It's starting to ring a bell. I think it happened in the morning.
You're not even trying, Sherry. Concentrate. What it is then? Yeah. You said they were playing. When I was trouble that day, or something I said in my cry. Had to change the suit. The one he was wearing was staying with breakfast. We had to put down that tray. Not even trying, Sherry. Concentrate. It's got to be the other way around then. I oh. don't believe you. Liars. Get away from me. It's not true. It's not real. What? Oh. Everything will be okay, Sherry. I promise. It was the morning of the 9th of April, the day my mother died. The ninth of April started off badly. My mom was anxious and hysterical. She threw food and shot at the doctor, calling him a liar. And I bought her morning tea, but when the shot started, I became scared. The only thing I could do, do was hide near the bed. John was there to protect me and calm me down. My, my mother, she, she was not just ill, but bad. I'd have mercy. I'm sorry. That explains why you locked the memory away. There must be more, John. I, that was the morning of her death. I need to know what happened. Every time you... I, I just don't... Please, Sherry, leave it be. Just breathe, John. You know that I cannot leave the last stone unturned. We are so close. I... I know. But can we at least leave it for another day? Well, history tells us these memories are triggered by our investigation of other matters. I suspect it could not be forced even if I so desired. Thank you. How are you feeling about all this? Tell me, I I'm not the only one reeling. It feels... Wrong, sad, like they're the memories of another man. I'm struggling to reconcile my love for my mother with the reality of who she was. And worse, what possessed Mycroft to lie about it? There are precious few pieces of this puzzle remaining, John. Let us dawdle here no longer. Indeed. Wait, 
Did you hear that? Yes. Metallic salts. What is this sailor doing here? I think our family portrait used to hang here. Sherlock Holmes, isn't it? I was looking for you. With whom do I have the pleasure of speaking? You can call me your new game. The rules are simple. I have something for you, but you alone must work out what that is. And that something is my prize, I suppose. You're a fast learner, sir. pain here old and shabby no signs of physical work hiding something square chick a man dressed as a fan to my house declaring that he has my new game Drop of pink paint is here, portraying him as a man who was involved in the art sphere. His hands show no signs of regular physical activity in coins. No. Just, uh... I cannot believe that Mr. Vogel has somehow successfully called my attention to his gallery. You're here with an invitation to visit it, obviously. My word, you are fast, Mr. Holmes. Could you explain how you came to that conclusion? Of course. Explanations are my favorite part of any conversation. Hands without any sign of regular physical activity in contradiction to one who would most usually wear such a uniform. The paint in your hair is pink. I don't know of any military service that paints their ships pink, Unless they have launched a new fashionable thing. <laughs> a sailor with the soul of an artist? Mm, I would suggest rather a gallery employee disguised as a sailor to mislead me. How many artists on the island know where I live and of my passion for deduction? Werner Vogel is clearly at the top of the list. And you've been attempting to conceal something square-shaped within your pocket. An invitation, I suppose. An invitation to Mr. Vogel's gallery. That was remarkable, Mr. Holmes. Mr. Vogel was right about your genius. I think he may have even underestimated you. This is your invitation. Please tell Mr. Vogel that the seed has been planted. He asked me to tell you to do so, if you win this little game. Farewell. Mr. Dear, my dear Holmes. As you know, Dad, I've already guessed, I would like to invite you to experience my art expedition, not only for the purposes of the contemplation. You do, but then you'll find a gallery at the Mm, at the castle is a bazaar in Herms Avenue in Old City. Always your friend. The muse from abroad. Well, some other stuff is getting deep. Still more clues to find, but I'm going to have to go handle this real quick. That's all I'm going to have for you. Till next time. Love. Peace. See ya.